because it won't be quite as warm as what we dealt with this weekend. So we're watching a front that's moving through right now. And as it does, it may briefly spark a couple of showers. Otherwise, we haven't seen that surge of cooler air work its way in quite yet. We're at 66 degrees in downtown. We have some cloud coverage in a couple of areas of light sprinkles. Temperature wise, uh, we're also in the 60s elsewhere. So uh, a lot of 60s popping up. We have some cloud coverage and also a couple of spotty showers. That's the front moving through right now. Once we get that through the whole area, we'll kind of see that wind shift from out of the north northwest, bring in that much drier, cooler air for the remainder of the day. So uh, here we go. Future cast showing skies clearing as early as 9 a.m. from the west to the east. And that will be the case on going throughout the remainder of the day. We'll have plenty of sunshine, dry conditions. It might get a little bit breezy. That's really it. And then much cooler into tonight. So low 70s for the afternoon high, which, mind you, is actually kind of a near average for this time of the year. Notice that it will get kind of breezy, too, with winds gusting up to upwards of 30 miles per hour at times. Still going to be altogether a very pleasant day. If you have outdoor plans, get outside, enjoy it. You're going to have pretty much the entire week to get outside and enjoy it as well. Chilly overnight tonight, so some areas may drop into the 40s by early tomorrow morning. Some air that we're certainly not quite used to, but it's going to feel very refreshing if you want to open up the windows, air the house out, and just enjoy it. Tomorrow will certainly be a little bit cooler following that chilly start. I think we'll have the sunshine back. It won't be nearly as breezy, but it will be a bit cooler. I think temperatures on Tuesday will only top out right near 70 degrees. I also want to talk about a major story this week. We're talking about Hurricane Milton. It has continued to intensify as it kind of spins in the Gulf of Mexico. So latest forecast track has this becoming a major category for hurricane over the next 48 hours. Uh, and it's certainly going to hit that warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico as it kind of nears the Gulf Coast of Florida, too. So still a big question mark of where it will make landfall, but it's going to be somewhere on the western coast of uh, Florida right there, uh, making landfall sometime on Wednesday as a major Category 3 or 4 hurricane. So something on the horizon down south for us back here at home. We're just going to have some very nice weather over the next couple of days. Sunshine continues with uh, cool mornings and mild afternoons. We'll have sunshine continuing through the end of the week.